Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas holiday season. Was Christmas as rough on y'all as it was me? Let me tell you. <laughs> I've had a rough few days and I look it. Today's video, we're going to be talking about fun ways to save money in 2024. Yeah, I said fun. All right, let's get started. So every new year, I'm sure y'all have seen those posts going around on Facebook. Those posts with ideas on how to do money saving challenges for the new year so you can save tons of money all year long. Which, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic idea, but for the majority of people, it's difficult, especially, especially in this economy. These money-saving challenges usually start kind of small, but then they get bigger and bigger and bigger, which that makes it harder and harder to keep up with those savings goals. Now, I have tried some of these money-saving challenges before, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, 100% honesty, they're hard. Especially when I got to the larger money weeks, it got really hard to keep up with that. There might be a week where I couldn't afford to put in a large amount of money into the savings challenge and I would end up feeling like I failed the entire challenge. So when I feel like I failed the entire challenge, I was always like, well, you know what? I failed the entire challenge. I'm just going to quit. I'm done. And it's, you know, I, I just quit it. It's hard to keep up with it when you get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Especially those weeks that you just can't afford to put a lot of money in there. So, I've been thinking about this for a couple of weeks now. And in 2024, I really want to try to do money-saving challenges that I can actually keep up with. I don't want to feel like I'm sacrificing all of our hard-earned money to go into these challenges. And I don't want to feel like it's just hard to do it. I want it to be easy and I want it to be fun. Because if it's not fun, if it's not easy, it's going to become a pain in the butt. I want to do money saving challenges that are actually possible to keep up with every week and something that most of us can afford to do as well. So everybody needs a little bit of money set aside for, you know, unforeseen expenses. Just things might pop up. Things can happen, you know. You just never know what buys around the corner. Or you could use this money for anything. Vacations, just a rainy day. You could use it for Christmas, anything. Anything you want to use it for. But we all need a little bit of money set aside. And I want to try to come up with something that is possible for everybody. Most everybody. This past week, I have researched and researched to try to come up with some money saving challenges that is actually achievable for most people, especially in this crazy economy. So that's what this video is going to be about. I want to share with you some fun money saving challenges. And I'm going to talk to you about a few ways that I'm going to be saving some money in 2024 for my family. So let's get this show on the road, baby. I have my doctor paper here because I needed a doctor paper. This crazy Christmas week was like... It's like run, run, run. You go, go, go until you're like pooping out in the car. I, I fell asleep in the car like three times this weekend because I was pooped. But it's fun. The kids had fun. We had fun. But shoo, already I was tired. I was tired. Anyways, enough of my babbling. Let's get to these money saving challenges. The first one I thought was a great idea was the $5 challenge. You're going to take an envelope, just one envelope. You're going to write on the back of this envelope weeks 1 through 52. Just write the numbers 1 through 52, which represents one week of the year, okay? The first day of each week in the new year, you're going to take $5 and stick inside of that envelope. And then you're going to cross out that week on the back of the envelope. So you know that you have done that week. By the end of the year, just by putting $5 a week inside of an envelope, you're going to have $260 saved. That's a pretty good chunk of change. So that is one that we all can do. Seems really easy and really fun. And you will see it slowly add up and you'll be like, yeah, it's adding up. Next, a penny saved is a penny earned challenge. I named it that. I thought it would be fun. So, <laughs> this one doesn't save a ton, 
but it saves some money. And I thought it would be something fun to do just to see that those pennies do add up. So you're gonna take an O container, any container that you can find, a butter container, a cheese it container, any container, you're gonna take it and you're gonna make a makeshift piggy bank. There ain't no sense in going out and buying a piggy bank because the name of this game is saving money. So we don't need to spend money to save money, you know? So just use something that you already have. It'll do just fine. For each day of the month, you're gonna put pennies in this makeshift piggy bank. According to the day of the month. So for instance, January 1st, you're gonna put one penny. January 2nd, two pennies. January 3rd, three pennies. January 31st, 31 pennies. Or March 2nd, two pennies. Each day of that month, that is the amount of pennies you're gonna put into this container. Now for the months with 31 days, it'll be $4.96 that you're putting in that container. For months with 30 days, it's $4.65. And good old February, leap year this year, we got an extra day, 29 days for February, it'll be $4.35. If you do this every single day, by the end of the year, you will have $57.67 which may not seem like a lot of money to you, but heck, that could come in handy for those times when that $57.67 is absolutely needed. And it goes to show that those pennies do matter and they do add up. And this would be a fun one to do with your kids to show them that every penny counts. Now, the next one I wanted to talk about is the envelope challenge. Envelope, envelope, I say it both ways. It's just whatever comes out at the moment. The envelope challenge. Do you, have you seen that one? It is when you get 100 envelopes and you write days 1 through 100 on each envelope. And you put it in a shoebox, a container of some sort, and you draw a random one out each day, each day. And whatever it says, that's how much you put into the envelope. That is so extravagant in my mind. They're doing this every day. One envelope a day. So... One week, you could have $99 one day, $100 one day, $89 one day. You'd be saving $700 one week. And for most people, that is not feasible. That is not possible. That is very extravagant in my mind. <laughs> so, I thought, hey, let's take that 100 envelope challenge. Let's twist it into something else. Let's try to create something that is actually possible for everybody. Okay, so what you're going to do is take 40 envelopes and you are going to write random numbers on each envelope. Numbers that you are comfortable with, which could be a dollar, two dollars, a hundred dollars. You pick the number on each envelope. Something that you look at and you're thinking, okay, that's possible. If I get the biggest number out of this stack, it will be possible for this week. That way, I won't feel like I have failed this money saving challenge if I can't do it. You pick that number. You pick every number on that. If that is $10, $10, $10, let it be that. But each envelope, you are going to put a number that you are comfortable with. Then you're going to put these envelopes in your container, your shoe box, whatever you're using. And each Friday, you're going to randomly pick out your envelope and whatever number is on that envelope, that's how much you're gonna stuff in it and you're gonna put it back. I cannot tell you how much money you're gonna have saved at the end of this challenge because it all varies person to person. Because with this, you're gonna be choosing the number that you are comfortable with. My numbers could be totally different from Sally's. So I can't really say how much you will have saved, but it'll be a good chunk, I'm sure of that. If you put $10 down on each envelope, that's $400 you'll have saved. And if you put even more, that's even more you'll have saved. Sounds pretty good, if you ask me. And you could use this on Christmas, vacation, emergency fund, anything. Now this next one, I actually did this already. I did this with the kids last year. And getting the kids involved, they seen how saving money, how it added up really quick. So I let them take part in this and we actually enjoyed it. It was fun. It seemed small, but it was fun. So what I did, I took about 20 little pieces of paper. In each paper, I wrote down a random number that I was comfortable with. Folded it up and I put it in a bowl. And I set this bowl on top of the refrigerator. 
And each Friday when I went to the bank to get money out for the week, I let the kids, just whichever kid wanted to, they would randomly pick out a piece of paper. Whatever the piece of paper said, that was what we were going to save that week. And we had this little money container and we put it in there and the kids seen it adding up really quick. And it was fun and we went on vacation with that money. It was numbers that we were comfortable with. I don't think any of those numbers, I think the highest number was like $50. And when we ran out of numbers, like I did 20 at a time, I just did 20 all over again. We just kept doing this. And we went on vacation with that money and it added up really fast. The kids were involved. It was really fun. One thing that we're gonna start doing in 2024 financially is only using the debit cards to pay bills. No more swapping that debit card for groceries, for clothes that we need, no more of that. I do the envelope system with our budget, but I am gonna be honest with you guys. There's those weeks where going to the bank to withdraw money just seems like a chore. Our area is getting really, really busy. They're building more things, more stores, more people are coming in from the West because they don't wanna live out West anymore. And we are getting so overpopulated, it's crazy. Five minutes down the road now takes 20 minutes. So sometimes, I'm gonna admit this, going to the bank seems like a chore, especially having to deal with all that traffic. So, oh, no more of that. I cannot do that anymore. Now, I do the envelope system, but when I don't feel like going to the bank, I always try to keep up with everything on notebook paper. I wrote it all down, but I don't want to do that. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I am going to go to the bank every Friday and withdraw our money that we're going to be using for the week. And by doing this, it ensures that I'm gonna randomly happen upon some dollar bills, which brings me to my next money saving challenge dollar bills y'all this one's easy each dollar bill that you have at the end of a week put it in your savings envelope some people say that it's good to put every dollar that you come across into your savings envelope but that can be a little tricky and for me that just doesn't work because sometimes during the week i need those dollars i need them <laughs> to use on things that we need throughout the week so, I'm not going to put every single dollar that comes into my possession in a savings envelope. What I am going to do is at the end of each week, before I go back to the bank, I'm going to go through my purse and every dollar I find, I'm going to take out and put it in the savings envelope. My best friend, she did this with $5 bills one year, and I cannot remember the exact number that she had at the end of the year, but it was a lot. Every $5 bill she had at the end of the week, she put it into like this jar and they had hundreds. I thought that was fun, but $5 is a bit much for my blood and I'm just gonna do the dollar bills. This next one, I had never heard of it before, but it intrigued me and I really wanna do it. It's the minimalist money saving challenge. So what you're gonna do for an entire month each day of that month, you're going to go through your house and you're going to find something to get rid of. So each day, you're going to get rid of something for an entire month. This is going to help declutter your house. And decluttering helps the mind. It helps you relax. And too much stuff, too much piled up junk that you don't use anymore can really affect your mood. So not only does this help declutter and help your mentality what you're going to do is take each item you're either going to post it to a marketplace on facebook or take it to a consignment shop and you are going to sell it for a reasonable price and make some extra cash and all this extra cash from each item that you sell you're going to put in your money savings envelope i thought this was really fun and i'm going to do it baby i'm going to do this one starting january now if there's some stuff that you're going to get rid of that you can't sell because some stuff is is broken or just too old you know get rid of it don't try to sell the bad stuff <laughs> but if it's good stuff try to sell it um also if there are items at the end of the month that you don't sell Take that stuff to a thrift store and you'll be helping people out on top of decluttering your space and you've made some extra money in that month by decluttering. So 
So it's a win-win. And I'm doing this on January 1st. Watch out. I am decluttering my house. Majorly. Now, this next idea is something that I have decided to do this year to help with my family's finances. And not only that, but it's going to help the environment. <sighs> so, I've thought about this. And I have decided that in 2024, I am going to try to thrift by second hand 75-ish percent of the time. Now, I'm not saying 100% of the time because that's not possible for us, for my family, to buy thrifted or second hand 100% of the time. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> because I have boys. I cannot buy secondhand shoes for my boys. I go to my local Once Upon a Child and they have 20 bins of girls shoes. Great shape. And they have like four bins of boys. Because boys are really, really rough on shoes and you can hardly find any shoes in good shape secondhand. It's the, it's the truth. I have searched my whole life I was a mother for secondhand shoes, and it's just not, it's around here, it is not possible. It is a good day if you can find jeans that don't have grass stains on the knees secondhand. So, <laughs> some things, it's just not possible. But 75% of our stuff, I'm really going to try this year to buy thrifted or secondhand because it's just better for the environment. And it'll help our finances majorly. And I just feel like it's something I should do. I don't know. We're just too materialistic in this world. And I just want to do my part. I don't know. But that's something that I'm going to do for my family this year. I'm going to try so hard. So hard. To buy most of our clothes thrifted or secondhand. I'm going to hit up yard sales this summer. I'm going to try my hardest to do my part in helping the environment. And it'll just make me feel good. So that is something I'm going to do for my family in 2024. Listen, y'all, this is not sponsored. This ain't sponsored one little bit. <laughs> but one thing I am going to do in 2024, I am going to make sure I use my money saving apps. Especially Fetch. Fetch is my favorite. So, I have noticed that sometimes I get my receipt and I fold it up and I put it in my purse. And it sits there for a couple of weeks. And then I'm like, oh, I need to clean up my purse. And I get out all of my, my receipts and I start taking pictures with my Fetch app. And it says, oh, this receipt is too old. All because I just didn't feel like it when I got the receipt. So, no more of that. By golly, no more of that. What I am going to do, as soon as that receipt hits my hand, I don't care where I'm at. If I'm in the store, I don't care. I'm taking a picture of it on my Fetch app so I can get my points. Because I do not want to miss out on any points. Dang it. <laughs> because I have missed out on so many. And what I'm going to do next year, I'm going to save all of my Fetch points. I'm going to save it save it until November and I'm going to use it to put on Christmas. Now, if you're not familiar with Fed, it's pretty awesome. Like I said, this is not sponsored. It's just because I like it and it's my favorite app. One of my favorite apps to use. So, what you do, you download Fetch. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you don't have Fetch or have never used it. So, you download Fetch and you take a picture of Every single receipt. Doesn't matter if it's a restaurant, a thrift store, any receipt. And you take a photo and you submit it and it gives you points. And those points add up and you can get gift cards. Real gift cards. And I use it all the time. Except when I forget like I just told you. <laughs> no more of that, baby. 2024, I am using my money saving apps. By golly. And it's going to help by Christmas next year. Another thing that I decided to do in 2024 to help that spending limit trips to the store. If I go grocery shopping 
and I forget something, there's going to be no more running out and getting it. I'm going to have to make do with what I got. I'm going to designate one day a week to doing our grocery shopping. And if I don't get it that day, I have to figure out something else. Because I'm so tired of having to run out and grab things from the grocery store because I forgot it. And it, it never fails. There's something else I see or something else Dusty sees. And I was like, oh, we might need that. Grab it. That's spending money that we don't need to spend. So no more trips to the grocery store to grab things that we forgot. No more. No more. No more. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> what are some things that you are going to do for your family for 2024 to save money? Do you have any money saving challenges that I did not mention here that you think is a good idea for everyone? If so, leave it in the comments below. I want to know about it. <laughs> because I am trying to save as much as I can without it being a pain in my butt. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Because saving money sometimes can be a pain in the butt. But I'm going to do it. And I want it to be fun. And I think that these ways are going to be super fun. It's not going to feel like a chore and I'm going to enjoy doing it. And I'm really excited to do the thrifting this year because I love thrifting. I love going in and looking at stuff and it's going to be so fun and I feel good about it. So that is my ideas on fun ways to save money in 2024. And I will leave all the links down here. I think the only link I'm leaving is Fetch. Yeah, I think so. But anyways, I love you guys. I will see you Friday. Friday, crock pot video coming out because crock pot saved my butt this Christmas. I'm sharing that with y'all Friday. I love you guys. Remember, as always, be positive, be kind, be happy. And remember, we are human. We all fall short. There could be moments where you're not positive. Just try to get through it. I love you guys. I will see you next video. Bye, Libby.